welcome to challenge eight. Today we'll, we will be creating and sharing Google Forms for assessment. So you're in your Google Classroom and the challenge eight is posted. We will click that to see what we have to do today. Now most people are familiar with Google Forms as sending out as a survey tool or as an exit card. Today we're going to create something that is teacher led for creating or for tracking learning skills. Okay, we're going to explore some different options for questions in Google Forms and then figure out the best way to share them. So let's go into our Google Drive, into our binder and find the form we started yesterday. Perfect. As you remember from yesterday, we've already pulled in the list of student names. So now we're going to add some questions to track some learning skills. So we're going to use the plus button on the side and it will create a space for us to add a question below. The first question we're going to add is which learning skill are we going to be looking for? In this case, we're going to be looking at organization. You are welcome to choose your own learning skill, but for the purposes of our form, this is what we're going to use. Okay? So for this type of question, we're going to choose check boxes to help us decide what it is we're actually looking for. And we've used the information in Growing Success to come up with these criteria. This may be something you want to come up with with your class and set success criteria for that. A checkbox is a great question, uh, type of question for this because this allows me to choose multiple types. The next thing that I'm going to add to my form is the assessment piece. In this case, I need to know how well the students are doing that specific task or skill. So for this type of question, I'm going to use a linear scale, which will allow me to mark each student based on a level one, two, three, or four. And now the last thing I want to be able to do with my form is add one more question that allows me to add some comments as to what we were working on or what was happening in the class at that time. The type of question you want to choose for this is a short answer. So I can just write some brief notes. The other thing that you can do with all questions is make them required or not. Some of them must be answered if, like for student names, I click this to require. Once I've made my form and I have all the questions I want, I'm gonna have to check it out, make sure it looks like and serves the purpose I need. So, I've got student names, I've got the learning skill that I'm tracking and what that means to me in my class. I've got some form of assessment and an opportunity to comment. And now as a teacher, I can go in choose the student that I'm observing, what it is I see them doing, and how well I see them doing it. If in the case of comments, I might want to add a little bit of detail. When I press submit, now I've recorded that data. The last piece of this challenge is figuring out how to share or use this form. If I want to share this with a colleague so that they can add or modify some questions, I'm going to use these three dots, this menu up top, and find Add Collaborators. And then I'll add them just like I would through their email or out to the class using the Google Groups. For our challenge, we want to send this form so someone can fill it out. And one of the best ways to do that is to use the link. So I'm going to copy the link from my form and go into our activity for the day. And now I can paste the link to my form into the challenge doc. 
Once I'm done, go up to the top and press turn in. Congratulations, you're now done challenge number eight.